Welcome to Yacht Crew Vlogs, where we tell the stories of those in the yachting industry. A behind the scenes look that discovers the individuals in the industry, their history, their passions, and what inspires them to do what they do. Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Yacht Crew Vlogs right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria, I am your host, and I am very pleased to welcome Peter Madej. He is the founder of Arctic Yachts. How are you? Hi, hello. Uh, thank you for having me here and hello everyone who is listening and it's super, super cool to, to be here and share, share, a good moment, share a good moment with you. Well, you know what? The reason you came across my radar is because I saw on social media you were advertising um, an expedition sailing virtual boat show. Um, now, before we get into that, I took a look at your website. Um, and one of your main core values is respecting nature. And that really struck a chord with me. So tell me about Arctic Yachts, because that is actually your core business. Tell me how that came about and, and what type of dream you had with that. You know, it, uh, it is a project that... Um has been an evolution of my uh, of my sailing, you know, uh, which um, has been happening over the past 15 years. Uh, so, you know, my, my sailing path have been taking, uh, have, have been very various, you know, it, it started from racing, it went through super yachts, it, uh, it went through luxury travel charter and everything. And, and at the end it ended up in the expedition. And, um, and, and then, uh, I, uh, I kept going in that direction and I still keep going in that direction. And um, I think the, the main thing that pulls me there is the, the connection with nature that I have, you know, sailing in the remote, remote places, working with the film crews, with the photographers, which means being always as close as possible to the, to the nature, you know, to the, to the most spectacular moments that you can witness. So um, it is a direction you know, which I have been going to um, since over five years. And uh, naturally, you know, uh, I try to shape it, you know, I, I try to shape it with a, a, to be able to surround myself with a good team, you know, of people that I, I like to work with and to take part in the projects that excite me and to fulfill my own dreams as well. But at the same time, it's not always, about what I want, what you know, what 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 are my dreams? It's a team effort. You know, we have a, at the moment five people in the team, and all of them are great sailors. All of them are super passionate about it, and uh, we try to join together our forces and to make the best out of it. You know, to to keep going in the in the direction that interests us most. And um, so the. The Arctic Yachts uh, is a, is a pretty much a new face to something that we have been, you know, uh, doing and dreaming about for for years, and um, it is uh, it is fully oriented on the Arctic, hundred percent. It is fully oriented on uh, uh, connecting sailing to art, connecting our passions, and um, and not only. We also, you know, uh, we are in the filmmaking business and films are always difficult to finance, you know, so in order to finance them, we come up with, uh, with the different ideas, you know, how to, how to find a budget for the, for the things that we want to do, because they're very personal dreams, they're very ambitious, <laughs> you know, as well, which means they are expensive. And uh, so, you know, in order uh, to finance it, we... We do our best, but always going in the same direction and, um, you know, getting always one step closer to sailing in the Arctic and to be more connected with people uh, that we met along the way, who became our friends and, and reaching out to the new people that we haven't met yet. You know? There's always a lot of amazing stories, you know, to, to, to pick up from expedition sailing and, uh, you know, as a filmmakers, we are always going after a good story. And, so tell me, um, uh, Peter, as far as filmmaking goes, 
Is it environmentally uh, sort of centered filmmaking or is it just any filmmaking that you are doing? You know, no, it's, it is uh, kind of, it is always directed uh, onto the nature. No, I, I'm not a um, talented, uh, you know, director or, or camera operator or photographer. You know, I'm, I'm here more uh, acting as a producer, you know, to, to try to put these things together. And, you know, my background, uh, you know, being a captain, running a boat, running a team of people, dealing with the big budgets and um, helps me a lot. You know, I have all the, I feel very comfortable uh, with, the, with the production. But obviously, you know, I, I, I studied it as well, you not know, to understand how the, how the business work. But uh, our, our objective, our direction is uh, nature and, um, and particularly the, the natural history, you know, the, the picture of the beautiful images of the wildlife and uh, understanding their behavior. And you know, just to take the picture, you have to study this behavior, understand it better. And once you take it, you know, you, 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 you might see things that have never been seen before. And, and then, uh, you know, and then people analyze it further and come up with, with the conclusion. So it's a kind of filmmaking that can easily convert to, uh, to something else. You know, it's not only the, uh, it's not a cinematic film, you know, it's not, uh, um, it's not, a, not necessarily a show. So our center is to go to the nature and to capture it and use our skills because this is what we've been doing. This is what we are passionate about. But then at the same time, you know, uh, we want to, the, it's, all, it's all a beautiful story, you know, which we can convert onto uh, attracting people to, to connect to this nature as well, you know? So, so it's a little bit of a combination, you know, the, 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 the in between being with the nature and working with the natural history, which is um, which is our personal, uh, which gives us the biggest satisfaction, and then as well converting it onto a story, you know, uh, in in a way of a behind the scenes, you know, a documentary form, very simple, uh, that is, uh, you know, it's not necessary. Um, it's not necessarily, oh, sorry, we need to cut here. Uh, so it's, um, the, the making of is, uh, is more about telling the story of how these things happen, you know, the story of adventure, the story of people who take part in it, you know, the, the new relationships that are being built and the relationships between people and nature, but as well between the participants, between the people. And things that we learn from it, you know, the, our ideas, what we can do to um, to be closer to this place, to be more connected, to ideally to protect it, you know. So let me ask you, if somebody. I mean, right now, space. expedition yachting is a big thing. Now, if somebody is interested in going on an expedition, can they call you? And and what do they learn when they go on an expedition with you to the Arctic? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, however, you know we are a very small team. You know, we we are not a gigantic agency that can handle you know uh, multiple clients. So we work uh, with a couple of projects uh, a year up in the Arctic. You know, the summer is short, so we we spend the three to four months. Uh, I mean, the longest expedition will last up to eight months, but these days it's a bit shorter and it's more focused on the film. So. We work with a professional uh, film crews, you know, with, uh, with uh, producers that work on the natural history. We work with uh, um, cinematic filmmakers, mainly documentaries, and uh, and that's um, that is what kept us busy most of the time. But it's um, it's not all. We also connect with uh, um, with the private sector sometimes with uh, with a. Uh, owners of, a, of a yachts that want to live a, an adventure. And, uh, you know, we have quite a big local knowledge, you know, after all the time that we that we've spent here. So we are able to 
guide them to be, you know, in the to in the right place at the right moment, you know, at the right time to experience those things. And um, in the same time, we are able to drive that experience in a certain way, you know, and in a way um, where we, uh, we are, when we are more respectful, you know, towards this uh, Arctic nature that we try to chase, you know, that we try to connect and uh, to be more connected to the local population, to, 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 to understand better the local cultures, which to me is absolutely fascinating. You know? There is nothing more interesting culturally than, than Greenland. It's absolutely uh, incredible, incredible place and people, you know. And so we, we are able to, uh, to share it, you know, with, uh, with, with, with people that want to connect with it. And um, and so in a way we are uh, you know we are we are kind of a travel designers but you know not not really um, you know working on um, our aim is not to bring the highest luxury our aim is to bring the experience and that experience is in line with the places that we experience you know you are we, definitely we a very niche marketplace. I think so, you know, there are not that many people <laughs> looking for this kind of experience, but at the same time, there are quite a few and and, and the number keeps growing every year, you know, the, the, the conscious of people uh, keeps growing every year and they're looking for different experiences and, you know, and there is always different way you can travel, you know, and you might get tired of one way of doing it and try something different and well, is that why the compare. sorry? Is that why uh, the the exhibition expedition uh, sailing virtual boat show came into play? Uh, was that why? Because more and more people are taking a look at going into places untouched, unknown. Um, there are many specialists in the world that um, you know, scientists, explorers, etc. That that do these types of expeditions. Is that why you put this show together? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that it's a huge number, but there is a quite big handful of <laughs> of those people that have a beautiful projects. They have a beautiful dreams. They they put a lot of heart. They put uh, a lot of good energy, and um, you know, and they are totally worth uh, supporting. You know, they are they are doing uh, things. Um, they are going. They are following the same path. We are very connected. We are very like like minded. You know, to, to them. And big part of them are friends. Uh, some of them are, are friends of the friends, and some of them are people that we always knew that are uh, amazing, and we always wanted to get to know them better. So, um, the but the driving force behind uh, the expedition sailing virtual boat show was a pandemic. <laughs> you know, I mean, we got uh, we got stuck in at home for almost a year. Um, you know, Arctic has been shut down. We couldn't sail. So, and at the same time, uh, you know, we, it's been pulling us. So we wanted to reconnect to those people. Uh, we wanted to um, to keep um, keep building a place where we can form our ideas. You know, where we can uh, connect with the others and. Um, reach wider audience through 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 being connected together and uh, to share our ideas about uh, how why do we do it and how do we want to do it and with whom and, and and where to educate people a little bit about what is possible what are the options you know and um, you know not not everybody is aware that the variety is so different you know some people um, just dream about going there, but have absolutely no idea. Uh, and, uh, you know, they will start from Google and, uh, you know, they might end up first on the website of a big cruise ship company, or they might end up on uh, our, you know, expedition boat show and, and learn that there are so many different ways of doing it and, and uh, learn about the people that are behind it and what is driving them, you know, the, uh, and their passion, you know, to the drive, and 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 through that, 
figure out how do they want to make their travel, you know? Uh, if it is all about, you know, uh, fast food experience, you know, just go there quickly for one hour, take a picture and run back home, you know, or if they want to experience something deeper, you know, if they want to, and if they want to do it in a responsible way as well. That's super important to us. And, and uh, yeah, and it's super important to all the participants that connected with us. So together we are able to shape that um, uh, into something bigger you know, and, and send a stronger message. Well, I mean, I'm going to make sure uh, underneath this interview to put both your, your website and the link to the virtual boat show underneath. But you have quite a few very impressive um, and well-educated people that know their stuff, that this is their passion. Um, there's going to be a lot of information that people can glean from participating in this virtual boat show. Um, you also have some amazing exhibitors, um, some great boats as well. Uh, there's a lot to offer in this show. It's not just a tiny little thing. You guys have put together a pretty comprehensive show. I mean, the potential is uh, much higher than what we managed to do. You know, we, we, we did uh, what we could with, you know, with our uh, own resources, with our own drive and passion. You know, we, we didn't try to make it too big, uh, you know, bigger than we can do. We tried to do it as good as we could. And with a lot of limitations, you know, I mean, we, we are uh, just a, a bunch of, uh, a small bunch of very passionate people. Uh, we know exactly what we are doing. We, we know what we want to say. We, you know, the, the passion, the drive, the idea is there. But you know, the, in, in, at the same time, we are not um, a huge uh, media corporation. You know, that is able to produce uh, you know a huge event with all the all the fancy you know technology. We wanted to uh, to do it slowly, you know, step by step, naturally. You know, not necessarily. Um, you know, build a room in one day, uh, but to give it a good direction and to give it uh, um, to connect with people that have uh, authentic uh, passion and that have something important to say and that feel that they, they want to say it, you know, that they want to share their knowledge. So, you know, in, uh, in the long run, it can certainly grow a lot more, you know, and, and at the same time, the start was, I think, as difficult as it gets when we couldn't travel, we couldn't meet any of those people, you know, and we were making a film material, you know, which means that we were not able to be there and to uh, press the <laughs> record button, you know, and so all the, uh, in the same time, it worked out uh, quite interestingly because you know, all the footage that people send us is their own authentic footage. This is how they uh, recorded themselves. This is how they want to be seen. So we are not showing them, you know, through the eyes of our camera. We are showing them through the eyes of their camera. You know? <laughs> so it's actually quite a funny way of making films. It's definitely the most difficult way of making films because, you know, then uh, you know when you, when you work on the professionally uh, created footage, you know, your, your opportunities are just so way bigger. But uh, well, I mean, the one nice thing about this, though, is, is that it's real. It's really real. It's not scripted. It's not, you know, there's not bits cut out to make it seem different than what it is. It is actual reality. And so when people tune in to see these clips and, and see this information, it's real stuff. Exactly. And it's full of passion, full of beautiful stories, full of knowledge. You know, all of those people have experienced something big. And, and have uh, really, really uh, huge insights of uh, being in the Arctic and working there, making art, making films, sailing, you know, and, and it's, a, it's a quite big group. Uh, you know, we haven't limited ourselves only to boats and, and sailing. We wanted to reach out much farther than that, we, uh, particularly to art and to culture, uh, because there is a lot, of, lot going on with art and with culture uh, up in the Arctic. And it is very, very, very deeply connected to nature and it's, it's beautiful and, you know, we, it drives us and it can probably drive many more people. You know? So, so yeah, we wanted to, uh, to go much farther than boats. You know? Well, you know what? I, 
I'm quite fascinated with this project and you know that's probably part of the reason why I did reach out and and I went a little bit further. I think what you're doing is amazing. Um, expedition yachting is the, the wave of the future. My fear, I think, when it first started becoming popular about a year ago was that people would treat these untouched places that they wanted to see the same way they treat all the other places that they see on a regular basis. Um, and what I like about your organization it's is that you're teaching cool. people how to look after the areas in which they go um, and to be respectful of the environment. I wouldn't say that I'm teaching. You know, I think teaching is a big word. I know I, uh, and I'm a young person. You know, I'm, I'm just 36 years old. You know, who am I to teach others things? But I can definitely inspire them, and they can figure it out for themselves. You know, I can show them the different ways. And, and my job here is not to say that this is bad or this is good or, uh, you know, that you shouldn't do that. You should be like me or like them. No, absolutely not. My job is here to, um, to let people figure it out by themselves, by, uh, by positive inspiration. And, and if you go through all that content, there is very, very little negativity in it. It's all positive. It's all focus on saying a good story and, and good examples and good ideas and and positive message you know so I, I don't want you know there are things that I don't like but I'm I'm not uh, I'm not a hateful person you know if I want to change it it's not gonna happen through yelling that this is so bad you know I want to change it through positive inspiration by showing you know that there is other ways of doing it. And, and if, if someone will uh, figure that out, I will be more, happy, more than happy. And, and at some point, you know, it's a, it's a big place, but it's not that big either. You know, at some point we're going to meet somewhere at the Anchorage and, and uh, you know, we might be one of the three boats within the next, <laughs> within the radius of a few thousand miles. And uh, we want to... Uh, uh, it's always nice if you if you encounter people that um, are doing things in a similar way that are like-minded that um, are respectful and considerate for about the things that they are doing, you know. And uh, you know, obviously, you know, it won't reach everyone. You know, uh, there will be always someone that will come with a totally different ideas. And uh, but you know the. The success here is measured, you know, in a very small steps, yeah. and and it's through these small steps that we can build something bigger. You know? So it's not about changing, you know, the planet, changing the world, or saving the Arctic. Is about um, feeling more connected to it, you know, taking time to understand it better before you go there, and thinking, taking time to think about how do you want to do it, yeah. you know, like what's good gonna come out of it or if it's only the footprint that you're gonna leave you know and how you how are you gonna offset it how are you gonna um how you're gonna compensate for all the damage you do by going there because we all we all leave the traces you know yeah. the same, same as, as, as anyone else so it's uh, you know and you cannot travel without leaving a footprint you know you, you, it's always there but the question is, uh, you know, can we do something to to offset it somehow, to make it uh, lower, to make it better? Can we connect our sailing, our travel to um, to a good cause, to, to support, uh, you know, support the science project that might uh, bring some you know, very very important research uh, that 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 um, you know everybody needs. Or you know, can we connect to local population that you know uh, can um, can benefit from us being there? You know? or or so yeah, there is a lot to a lot to think about uh, before you plan your trip to the Arctic. And you know, our job here is just to let people their imagination work and and, and let them figure it out for themselves. Well, Peter, you know what? I encourage everybody to tune in, head over to the website for the Expedition Sailing Virtual Boat Show. Check that out. As well, as I mentioned earlier, we'll make sure to put your website, Arctic Yachts, uh, up underneath this interview as well. I wish you 
you know, all the success with this boat show. And I know the next uh, segment is coming up in 17 days and counting. There is a counter on that site. Um, so I will be tuning in for that. Um, and yeah, let's catch up again in the near future and see how things are going. And maybe we can, you know, be caught up every six months or so and see what you what fantastic things you've, you've filmed in, in the previous six months. Yes, thank you. You know, our plans are, you know, this, despite all the madness that is going on with all the restrictions, our plans are super busy. You know, we are, we are, uh, the more difficult it gets, the more creative we get. <laughs> so we just keep, uh, keep going, with, you know, not looking back, not, uh, not worried about all the obstacles. We always, you know, the one thing that's very important is that there is no obstacle that cannot be um you know sail around so you know we we just try to do our best and, and keep developing this idea further and uh, and yeah hopefully hopefully the the summer will work out for not only for us but for for everyone else this is all um, fingers crossed that um, we will be able to enjoy a little bit more freedom uh sooner or later and that this freedom is gonna bring us, um, you know, to the to closer to our dreams. And, and at the same time, we can use this moment uh, to contemplate how we're gonna do it. You know, we we all know that uh, nothing is gonna go back to normal. The the normal doesn't exist anymore. That has been wiped out from the face of this planet. So there is something new, and we have to figure it out. And I wish to everyone best of luck in figuring out you know, how they how they are going to continue with it. So thank you very much, and yeah, and best of luck to you and to everyone who have been listening. Thank you. Thank you very much. That you've been listening to Peter. He is a founder of Arctic Yaws. He is also um, instrumental in creating the expedition sailing virtual boat show. We do encourage you to head on over and check it out. You've been watching another edition of Yacht Crew Blocks right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria. I have been your host. Please tune in again for another episode.